Hi, today we are going to talk about some past years regarding the indices and certs. So first we start off with indices. Okay, look at this question. So we need to find A, B and C. Okay, so how do we do that? First thing, we rewrite the fraction here into a simpler form. Okay, so we just, we basically we expand this thing, this third here. So the third is equivalent to power half. Okay, first we write down the first line first. Okay, 1 over 3, Q to the power of negative half, R to the power of 3 over 2, over P to the power of negative 2 over 3 times. Okay, be careful. Q, 5 over 2. 5 times half, we get 5 over 2. Okay, so R is the same thing, 5 over 2. Okay, so now, we know that divide. Remember, in this case, when we divide, the powers are being subtracted. Okay, they have the same base. So P and P, P we get, okay, Let's change the colors. So 1 over 3, negative minus negative 2 over 3 okay next one we compare the q terms okay q negative half minus 5 over 2 okay next one we compare the r term okay so negative write it down 3 over 2 okay minus 5 over 2 okay so now the final answer p Q, R. Let me write this three down first. So, negative, negative, we get positive. Okay, so 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3, we get 1. Okay, Q, negative half minus 5 over 2, you get negative 3. Okay, N 3 over 2 minus 5 over 2, you get negative 1. Okay, by comparison, by comparison, we know that A equals to 1, b equals to negative 3, c equals to negative 1. Okay, so this is the example, one of the examples for indices. Okay, let us proceed. So, this we have uh, used the division, all those. Okay, so now we move to some more complicated questions. Okay, so look here. So I have this past here printed out. Okay, so you see. Look at this, okay? So, the first question we look at is this, okay? So the question is express, okay? So express uh, this expression here in the form of ax to the power of b, where a and b are constant to be found, okay? Then solve the equation. Okay, so I write this down here. So this one is, to, is for the simplicity of my explanation, okay? So you can see here, Okay, so now, how do we do this? Okay, so can you tell me negative 8, what is negative 8? Okay, we can rewrite it negative 8, we can rewrite it as, okay, so this is the root 3, right? Okay, so we can convert it to 1 over 3, the fraction of 1 over 3, correct? Not? Okay, so we can write negative 8, we can rewrite as negative 2 to the power of 3. Okay, x we keep it as such. Okay, but this fraction, this third, we can convert it to 1 over 3. Okay, remember the, the properties? So when we have this bracket, bracket, we can cut it off. Okay, so this 3 and this 3, we can cut it off. We get negative 2. This one, 9 and 1 over 3. Okay, so we can cut it off. So x. This one cut, you get 3, cut, you get 1. So x to the power of 3. So we get this as negative x to the power of 3. Okay, for this one, how do we do it? Same concept. Okay, we convert this third here, annoying thirds here, we convert it into a fraction, 1 over 6. Okay, then we cut it off. We simplify the whole thing. Okay, so we see negative 3, we can cut, cut. We get x, 1 over 2. Okay. Until here, is it okay? Okay, so now we are going to look at here. So in this, right, we need to actually write all this back down. 
okay? Because it's the working, okay? Nine, one, two, three. I will, I will write it quickly. Okay, I need to rewrite this, okay? For for the marks, okay? If you don't rewrite this, okay, that means you can't get marks, lah. Okay, now you see, negative two x three. Okay, we just plug it in, times x to the power of negative half. Okay, now using the formula. Okay, now using the property of the indices, we can get negative two x. Okay, so we can get three plus negative half. Correct. Simplify things down. Negative two x minus okay we can get three minus half we get five over two okay so we can solve this okay by comparison okay by comparison sorry by comparison you can get a x b right we compare uh, with this one so a we get negative two B, we get 5 over 2. Okay, so this is the final answer. Two marks. Okay, now we need to solve this equation, right? See this. Isn't it the same as this one? So we can just throw this equation into this formula. Okay, so negative 2, x5 over 2 equals to negative 6, 2, 5, 0. Okay, we get rid of the negative 2 first. Okay, divide both sides by negative 2. You get three, one, two, five. Okay, now we need to get rid of the power five over two. What should we do? Times both sides by the power, the inverse of the power. Okay, what I mean by the inverse of power, that means you two put on top, five you put below. Okay, just inverse the fraction. So now this will become one, right? Then this one, you put inside a calculator, you'll get. 25 okay so this is the answer for this question okay clear okay now next question final question we have for today okay final question you look at the trapezium okay this trapezium right okay so I've highlighted some of the important things okay so the trapezium as we know the trapezium has a formula of 102 a plus B over the, times the height. Okay, so A is here, B is here, or you can switch it up, it's the same. Okay, times the height. Okay, so now we just need to plug in the formula. So he just mentioned the area is in 13 plus 5 third 5. Okay, so we sub in everything inside. Okay, first we need to sub in 1 over 2. A is this whole thing. So 3 plus root 5 plus root 20 plus on top, okay? So we get 3 plus root 5, okay? So we close bracket, correct? Then we times the height as x, okay? 13 plus 5 root 5. Okay, I'll do it slowly, slowly. So now we need to break out this 20, right? So, okay, so this is a different equation different equation is apart from this one. So root 20, what should we get? Root 4 times root 5, correct? 4 times 5, we get 20. Remember the properties, we, when we multiply, we can pull the roots out. So root 2, we get 2 root 5, okay? 2 root 5, okay? Now, 2 root 5, and we can get, okay? So now we can put this into this formula, okay? Put inside 102, 3 plus root 5 plus 2 root 5 plus 3 plus root 5 x, okay? Equals to 13 plus 5 root 5. Okay, so next step, I'm going to do two steps at once. We will bring the 2, multiply the other side, and we will plus all this together. 3 plus 3 we get 6, okay? So now we remember the properties, okay? So 2 plus 1 plus 1, we get 4 root 5. Whole thing multiplied by x. This one, 13 times 2, we get 26 plus 10 root 5. Now, 
okay so we just need to move this below of this okay then we can get x okay and we are not done yet okay we need to rationalize the denominator remember the last video we need to rationalize the the, the denominator so what should we times what should we times here we should times the remember we should times the 6 minus 4 root 5 6 minus 4 root 5 okay so we just times this okay we can get so this one we need to bracket it up bracket everything up okay so we can times things up okay so now we I will speed up so this one 6 remember this equation here so I write it down here a plus b a minus b this one okay we need to apply inside here okay apply inside so 6 here we'll do the bottom part first it's easier 6 times 6 you get 36 minus okay so 4 root 5 you square it you'll get 80 okay then this one on top okay this is just normal expansion okay normal expansion this one times this one this one times this one okay then this one the 10 root 5 times 6 and 10 root 5 times negative 4 root 5 okay so you will get you will get the value as so 26 times 6 you get 156 so I'll go according to it 26 times um, 26 times 6 okay so we go next with 10 root 5 times 6 we will get 60 root 5 okay next one 26 times negative root 4 root 5 we will get 104 root 5 and final the final one 10 root 5 times the negative 4 root 5 you will get 200 okay remember root times root we just get rid of the root okay so now simplify things up you need to simplify everything up okay simplify and we will get negative 44 minus 44 root 5 over negative 44 okay we can just factorize 44 out 1 plus root 5 over negative 44 cut cut final answer we will get 1 plus root 5 okay so we can get find x ma correct so x is equal to 1 plus root 5 this is the final answer okay so this is the end of the past year the review past year thank you